guys. Welcome to another Urban Viking Hell review. I'm keeping it a bit quiet because I've got neighbours nearby and I'm still a bit wary about doing this outside. But until I get a nice little setup inside, I'll, I'll keep doing it this way. Anyway, my um, Urban Viking t shirt arrived <laughs> in the post today, so I thought I'd try it out. Um, this beer I'm going to be reviewing is a Bristol beer from the Buckland Brewery and it's their Tall Tales. Pale Owl, and this comes in at 4.3%. So, Buckham are pr pretty well known, pretty established brewery. They do very sort of a lot of supermarket beers. I, I don't really know much about their other brands because I know they they have got other styles and stuff like that, namely this one. I've never heard of this one, but but then again, I got this one from Asda as well, so it probably is a pretty easy to get supermarket beer. So let's give it a quick go, shall we? Um, just want to say thanks to all the people commenting on my last video. It was really, really nice of you to do that. Um, I really need to try and make my reviews a bit more, I don't know, a bit more available to other people, I suppose. I don't know, try and broaden my channel, but I've never been any good at that, which is why I've always stuck on about 700 subs. Um, Terry Kay used to say that, bless his soul, he used to tell me, you know, try and scope outwards, go on like um, uh, Instagram and Twitter and all that sort of stuff, but just, I don't know, I just like a simple format like YouTube, it's easier for me, and TikTok's a bit too, I don't know, you got to be really constantly uploading, and uh, I don't know, anyway, sorry, I'm just banging on, um, Tall Towels Pow Owl. Let's have a look at it. It looks like a very sort of standard pale ale, really, an English pale ale. Um, nice carbonation, sort of off-white head, very, very broken. Not a, not a thick head at all, creamy. Give it a nose. Yeah, it's definitely an English pale. You getting that? It's a really nice style. I really like this style, actually. I've just forgotten how much I like it. It's um, you get lovely citrus notes, but they're very, very mild very settled um like um grapefruit and lemon uh maybe a sort of touch of tangerine but really really faint um but you also get that sort of hoppiness from the like slightly earthy notes but not deep sort of grimy bitter notes nothing like that it's, it's all very sort of zesty and sparkly um so let's give it a taste so it's like it might taste really horrible but here, here we go cheers Oh, that is nice. Straight away, that is just instantly a beer you want to drink and drink and drink. Um, really nice mouthfeel, very smooth. Um, the carbonation is is nice. It's nice. It's not overpowering at all. Um, those notes I mentioned are definitely present. Um, the citrus notes um you're getting that sort of lager not really lager but you know that sort of lager taste um but very very satisfying uh, very first quenching um like i say it's nothing amazing that i haven't had before in the past but i just love this style the english power wells i really do like the style and um so that's going to get a straight eight out of ten for me straight away because it's in the supermarket and it's about one pound forty a bottle so easy easy to to get hold of as well which is always always a good idea um so there you have it buckham tall towels power ale there you go if you see it grab it it's good stuff cheers